there were certainly times where I, um, where I have like scheduled the day out minute by minute, like, you know, sort of parallel schedules between work and my son and like nap times and meal times. And like, when this is happening and I can do this and at like 1205, I can transit, we can do this. I can put him down and then I can do this work thing. And, you know, like had it all worked out and, Mm -hmm. and, um, right now that, and that all worked great at that time. Right now I'm sort of in a season of every night before I go to bed, I like list out my work schedule. And then, um, for my son, I'm like just jotting down a list of like, Hey, here are some go-to things that, um, he can do tomorrow. Um, and so they're not tied to a specific time. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'll certainly try to follow his lead in terms of what he's interested in, because, you know, if he's interested in something, it's going to get me more engagement and more bang for my buck than if I like, you know, give him a certain toy to play with and he might play with it for 30 seconds and then need something new, you know? Um, but I have those things on hand and I really try to, um, make sure my ideas on hand for the next day are a, um, they vary in terms of things that he can do independently and things that, um, we will do together. Um, and then I try to, look at my work schedule and prioritize like what are the times that I need him to be independent um and so like right now when I'm recording something you know like I would prioritize that as like a high need for independence time and so I'll plug in something at that time that I know and you know have tried to set expectations for what he needs to be doing during that time um and then you know um so those expectations, you know, are well, and I, of- I want to jump in right here to say one thing Lindsay said that's super important is we need to recognize that our kids are going to need us during yes. the day. They yes. are. We can't yes. prioritize and say this is our work time and it lasts from <laughs> eight to five because our kids won't last from eight to five. And so we need to we need to recognize those face to face times with our kids as priorities as well because we cannot expect them to be able to be self directed the whole day. Right. Even if we've given them times, and no matter their age, even if we've given them times, they still need to see us. They still need to hear us. They still, just like we, if we find ourselves working from home from the first time, we might really miss that colleague piece and our kids are the same. They're mm-hmm. going to miss that interaction. So we need to make sure that we plan that into our day. So we're not trying, cause that's going to just lead to frustration. They can't be self-directed forever. Neither can we. And so we need to put those times in as a priority as well. Yeah. And I will For say sure. you know, working, um, working this new kind of schedule with kids with some, a little bit of purpose, more purpose than they have in the summertime. Um, uh, thankfully, because it's, it's wet and cold here in Ohio. Um, I, it's actually been really good for me because I am one of those where um, once I get started with my day, I usually don't stop to eat very well or I'm eating in front of the computer and like trying to get work done. It's not really successful. I'm constantly multitasking. Um, but because I've had to like make sure that I can find, like you said, Lindsay, I've been looking at my schedule ahead of time and going, okay, I have a kind of plan in mind. And these are some times where I can check in with kids Um and my husband's here as well. So he's also helping out with that. But those little check-ins have actually been really great brain breaks for me. And when I do get back to my work, like just like our kids need brain breaks, we kind of need them as well. So it's really forced me to break up the, a little bit and step away and come back and be a little bit more refreshed. So, um, yeah. so yeah, I've enjoyed that. But I and think having like- those ideas in, ahead of time, like you said, have those ideas in mind ahead of time of what are some things I can pull for activities for them. Um, and which ones can be done independently and not that's huge for little ones can kind of start your day. Yeah. And, 